Chapter 24, The Dominant Dragon Sparrow, Sect. In the following days, they continued to travel. The caravan moved ceaselessly towards the east, passing through the county of Skyfire, Dengzhu Prefecture, and finally reaching Wuyuan Province, a journey of thousands of miles. Wuyuan Province is a large province on the edge of Yun Province, spanning thousands of miles and with 12 cities under its administration. It's named after the Wuyuan River to its east. According to the information Liu Linki had received in advance, they were close to Qingyun State once they reached Wuyuan Province. After crossing the Wuyuan River, they would be able to see Qingyun Immortal Mountain, where the Dragon Sparrow Sect was located, standing between the mountains. As a sect with a thousand-year heritage, the Dragon Sparrow Sect is renowned throughout Qingyun State. Within a radius of a thousand miles, everyone knows of it. Han Yi felt that once he entered the Dragon Sparrow Sect, his attribute picking skill would greatly enhance in utility. There were countless strong cultivators in the sect, and if he picked a powerful attribute, he would undoubtedly gain greatly. With future accumulations, he believed he would not be weaker than anyone else. The Liu Manners group arrived at a port in Anking City, Wuyuan Province. Large boats traversed the river, with the 100-meter high water gates opened up and down to allow the ships to go in and out. From time to time, they could see boats leaving and gradually disappearing into the horizon, becoming a mere speck in the distance. Han Yi rode into Anking City, taking in the sprawling and well-planned Flying Eve architecture. Watching the Dooley Hat boatman rowing by the river, he observed the unending stream of diversely dressed pedestrians and luxurious carriages on the streets. The scale of the city and its crowd was incomparable to those in Lang Lang village or the county of Skyfire. The sights before his eyes were unique to the picturesque southern region, characterized by the enveloping mist and willow trees. For some reason, an image of along the river during the Qingming festival surfaced in Han Ye's mind very similar to the scene before him. Stretching before his eyes was an endless river, and the fastest way to cross it would be by boat. Wow, such a magnificent river! Wang Daniu, riding past Han Yi, looked at the rolling river with awe on his face. It was his first time traveling far from home. Naturally, he was enthralled by the sight. The scenery here is indeed excellent. The Wuyuan River, although not as large as North Sea, is still impressive. To reach Qingyun State on the other side, we must take a boat, said Gao Kiching from the side, with a slight smile on his face. He had traveled throughout Great Zhou from north to south and had seen a lot of the world. So he maintained an even-keeled demeanor that was not easily excited by things. Everyone, let's freshen up, have a hearty meal at the inn by the harbor. Our reserved boat will arrive in half an hour. Let's wait a bit, Liu Linki instructed. The close to 50 escorts who were with them turned their horses around and made their way to the inn. The Liu family had brought along many people on this journey. Mainly selected martial artists who could double as guards and potential entrance to the Dragon Sparrow sect. A group of people this size naturally attracted the attention of those they passed by. Among the crowd, Han Yi did not draw much attention. He preferred it that way, as it's better to maintain a low profile when away from home. The group arrived at a place named Drunken Immortal Tower. Though it was an inn, it was more appropriately described as a tavern or a large restaurant. The inn staff attended to the horses while Han Yi stepped into the inn to find an unexpectedly spacious five-story building. With a pagoda-like design, modern architecture, and extravagant decoration, a young woman with a pleasant appearance and dignified demeanor welcomed them with a professional smile on her face, appearing to be the inn's receptionist. Serve us the best food and wine you have, along with your signature dishes. Here is the money, said Liu Linki, producing several large silver ingots from her waist. The young woman glanced at the large party from the Liu family, smiled, and gestured for them to follow. Esteemed guests, please follow me upstairs, we have large private rooms for you. Han Yi followed the group up to the third floor and chose a seat further inside the room. Our drunken immortal tower recently received a fresh batch of aquatic spirits meat. Would you like to try it? Those who have had it praise its delicious taste and its nourishing effect on the body. It's especially suitable for martial artists like yourselves. The young woman introduced it with a casual smile, as if it was an entirely ordinary matter. 
Aquatix Baritz? Lilinki frowned slightly. Han Yi was also quite surprised upon hearing this. If it were common aquatic creatures, ordinary people could capture and eat them. But these were aquatic spirits, creatures that have gained spiritual awareness. Cultivators often viewed them as precious medicinal ingredients. How could they possibly have ended up here? Although Wuyuan province was large, this small anking city surely couldn't be catching these spirits, could it? The young woman noticed everyone's expressions change and explained with a smile, I see that you are unaware. Recently, it's the triennial recruitment time for the Dragon Sparrow sect. In order to ensure the safety of those who come to seek admission, cultivators from the Dragon Sparrow sect swept and cleared demon beasts and spirits from several hundred miles around a month ago. They killed a vast number of mountain spirits, river monsters, and sinister evildoers. The number was so great that it couldn't be estimated. The Dragon Sparrow sect chose to sell some to major inns and taverns like ours. Upon hearing this explanation, Han Yi was greatly shocked. The Dragon Sparrow sect, their methods were so overbearing. For their triennial recruitment examination, they actually wiped out all the demon and ghostly creatures within hundreds of miles. Is this the might of a major sect? Was it like this in previous years? Liu Linki asked. No, it only happened this year, the young woman replied, shaking her head. Then let's try a few servings. After pondering for a while, Liu Linki gave her response. All right, please wait for a moment. Your meal will be served shortly. Han Yi was sitting by the railings on the inside. As he was idly chatting, he looked towards the other floors outside the railings. He noticed many people in different types of clothing also sitting inside the tavern, chatting and drinking. There were plenty of people similar to them, bodyguards, swordsmen, and uncouth martial artists. There were also elegant scholars, rich young masters and government officials' daughters in their fine attire. They all brought along their own servants and bodyguards, fully armed. None came alone. But amidst the sea of people, Han Yi noticed an outlier. It was a woman in a white dress, wearing a white dooley hat. The veil from her hat completely concealed her face, leaving no dead angles. Han Yi could only see that her silhouette looked slender and upright. Sitting alone at a corner table, looking at the beautiful scenery outside the window. She was the only one who came alone. As if sensing Han Yi's gaze, the woman in the white dress turned her head slightly, lifted her chin, and looked up at the third floor. An invisible pressure surged forth. Upon witnessing this, Han Yi quickly averted his gaze. Gao Kiching, who was sitting next to Han Yi, noticed his gaze and added every three years at this time. A large number of people who wish to join the Dragon Sparrow sect gather here. Whether they are Jianghu martial artists or wandering swordsmen, it is not surprising. Wang Daniu gave an honest smile and said, This Dragon Sparrow sect is indeed a major sect. They are so considerate of us, wiping out the demons within a hundred miles. It's incredible! Gakichang nodded in agreement, indeed, in the past years, even if one had exceptional talents. On the long journey to reach the Dragon Sparrow sect, who knows how many dangers one would encounter, often dying halfway. Supporting his head with his hand, Han Yi said, people in the past didn't have this treatment. This means that the Dragon Sparrow sect has a motive for doing this, who knows what they were planning. As he said this, he couldn't resist glancing through the railing again. But this time, the woman in the white dress had disappeared from the window.